In the UK, the Home Secretary is in the headlines. Suela Braverman is in the eye of the storm again. She's taking on British Pakistani men. She blames them for child sexual abuse. She says they're quote-unquote overwhelmingly behind such cases. This is about organized groups, also called grooming gangs. Braverman says men of Pakistani origin are involved in these crimes and that authorities willfully ignore this. You may ask why. She says it's because they're trying to be politically correct. That's what the Home Secretary says. She says that law enforcement agencies are being politically correct. They take a softer approach to minorities like Muslims. And a Home Secretary is the UK's version of Home Minister. She says the police is soft because they don't want to be called bigots. Now that's a lot to unpack. And not the first time it has been said in the UK that law enforcement agencies overcompensate because they don't want to be called racist. Let me give you some context. Grooming gangs are an old issue in the UK. The theory is this. Gangs of British Pakistani men roam about abducting and abusing minor white girls. There have been some very high profile cases like cases in Rochdale, Oxford and Telford. And British Pakistani men were involved in these cases, but they weren't the only ones. Braverman's own ministry investigated this. The UK Home Ministry released a report in 2020 and it found, and I'm quoting, group-based offenders are most commonly white. So Braverman is being slammed. Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has come to her defense. His official spokesperson had, has made a statement. He said that British Pakistanis were linked to some grooming gangs and that this was the problem she was trying to highlight. The spokesperson then doubled down on the problem of political correctness. He said it should not hold people back from taking appropriate action. And this is the second time this year that political correctness is in the crosshairs. It came up earlier with the PREVENT report. Now what's that? What is the PREVENT report? The UK has a program called PREVENT. It's basically to prevent radicalization. Citizens are urged to keep an eye out for signs of radicalization, and if they find any suspicious activity, they should report it. This is a prevent program. It came under scrutiny recently because the UK saw a lot of high-profile extremist attacks. In 2021, for instance, an MP was killed. His name was Sir David Ames. And he was killed by a man who had been flagged off to prevent... So people wanted to know if this program was actually working. Was it of any use? The government appointed a reviewer to assess it. And the review report came out in February. It slammed the program. The report said it was only funding generic community projects. It was not focusing on religious extremism. Eight out of ten plot investigations in the UK were linked to radical Islam. But prevent, the government program, was failing to prevent them because there was, quote-unquote, a culture of timidity when it came to tackling radical Islam. All this begs the question, is political correctness really stopping law enforcement? And in the case of the UK, it seems a bit contradictory, because a lot of reports say law enforcement in the UK also has a racial bias. So maybe this political correctness is an overcompensation for years of racist policing. And that too is problematic. You see, no country can afford to go soft on heinous crimes like child sexual abuse or radicalization. In an ideal world, there should be no biases. Is that what Suela Braverman is truly after? An ideal society with no institutional biases and migrants enjoying the good life in Rwanda? Seems like a, a stretch. But remember, local elections are approaching in the UK. They're scheduled for early May. The ruling Conservative Party is trailing in opinion polls, so the Tories are trying to find ways to rally their support base. Braverman's words are being linked to this. She's been accused of dog whistling. But whatever the case may be, whatever her motivations, we say biases should not hamper justice. And we mean biases of any kind, racism or political correctness.